What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode five, building an app with ChatGPT and Flutter. In this episode, we're going to try to go from this to this as we build our player cell in our app. To do that, we're going to learn how to get images into our project and then utilize them to give our app the appearance that we're looking for. So let's go! So when we left off in episode 4, we had just started generating our player cells, but we were having trouble drawing our player cells as shapes. So let's see if we can use images instead of shapes for our player cells. So the code that we get back from ChatGPT is going to allow us to use an image for our player cell. Basically, it does this by using a link to the image, but it will be easier for us if we can use an image that's right inside of our project. So next we need to see if that's possible. Now that we know that it's possible, we're just going to ask ChatGPT to update our code to reference an image in our assets folder inside of our project. Once we have the updated code, then we just need to add the reference to the image in our assets folder. Where is the assets folder? Ah, okay. ChatGPT quickly lets us know that our assets folder might not be in our project yet and we might have to create it. So we'll do that and we'll move the images that we want to use into that folder. All right, so we've got our assets folder created, we've got our image inside of the folder, and we've got a reference to it in the pubspec file, which is also required. Now we'll finally see our first player cell in action. So we've set up our image in our assets folder properly, but we still have the problem with scaling those images so that they'll fit onto our screen. So with just a little bit more work, let's see if we can fix this problem. All right, let's test it out. Well, we're not overrunning our screen anymore, but we obviously aren't showing our image either. So we will persevere. And so we persevere, again. All right, so we finally got our image to display. Now we just have some work to do on the scale. Now we can start duplicating our image to get a feel for the layout that we want. To keep it simple, we'll just make a copy of the container that has our existing image in it and duplicate it in the code. This helps us judge the scale of the player cells that we'll need to use. With that, now we can start working on the overlays for our player cell with some help from ChatGPT. That's the text, let's add the overlay buttons. For our overlay buttons, we're using something in Flutter called Inkwell. It's basically a button that allows us to add an image to it. And with that, we finally have our player cell. Wow, it was a lot of work to get those images to work in our app. And to be honest, I need a break. So next episode, we'll build the functionality for our player cell and start trying to put the finishing touches on our app. But for now, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you want to get notified for the future episodes, please consider subscribing. And also, there's a link in the description for the playlists for this series in case you've missed any of the episodes. I really hope you've enjoyed watching so far. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you soon.